Are you seeing enough of that talent coming out of the university with which you sit? Are you worrying, I think in particular, about the money that's necessary to foster that sort of talent? Thank you, Caroline and Ed, for inviting me here. Uh, we are looking at extremely a high level of excitement of students majoring in computer science and AI. So as fast as we can train our students, yes, there is a, a huge amount of excitement and uh, and uh, talents going to, you know, going into the space. But uh, uh, where I sit is public sector, is academia, is higher education. I do think that um, we need a much uh, more in investment and resourcing to make sure the public sector development and research of AI stays healthy is part of the ecosystem and, and frankly, part of the innovation engine of America. Dr. Lee, you met with President Biden and spoke with him in June. He's due to sign in to law his executive order to, for AI standards this afternoon. Based on the fact sheet that's been released and Bloomberg's reporting, which I know you shared on social media, did any of the proposals or recommendations that you made to President Biden end up being in the executive order? Yeah, Ed, I'm definitely very excited to see all the details of the executive order later this afternoon. But um, from the fact sheet that I briefly read, I am excited to see the level of comprehensiveness and multifaceted, broad uh, coverage of this EO, especially uh, about the National AI Research Resource, which is called NAIR uh, pilot program. We at Stanford HAI Human Center AI Institute uh, spearheaded this uh, effort back in March 2020 when we wrote an open letter to uh, um, many, many um, uh, university leaders across the country and, uh, and made this into a first bill under the Trump administration. And after working with Biden White House and uh, NSF, National Science Foundation, for 20 uh, or so months, we actually submitted a plan for, for National AI Research Resource there to Congress earlier this year. So seeing there being part of the, uh, on the fact sheet, being part of a pilot program uh, coming out of this EO is really exciting. And uh, uh, frankly, I think it's really, we're in dire need when I say we, it's public sector. Of course, there's a lot more um, details to be, uh, to be seen, yes. and I really look forward to Congress taking action following this uh, EO. Dr. Lee, you want to see more support for public sector compute resources and to rebalance the amount of AI development being done in the public sector vis-a-vis -vis industry and, and, and government. Why do you want to see that rebalancing? And I think this is really important for America's leadership. AI is such a critical technology. It's a horizontal technology that is propelling the entirety of our our our, our globe, our human you know uh, civilization into the next chapter. And we definitely need um, a d responsible uh, development. And uh, America's global leadership and and its founding democratic values are critical to help usher in uh, this responsible uh, technology. So uh, this is why we need the public sector to be part of the innovation as we have always done whether it's uh, biotech or space technology or, you know, computers, yeah. internet. We, we have done that as a country and we need that uh, for AI as well. You are, of course, the godmother of AI, as many call you. And this isn't just a AI US field. It's a global sphere, field. From tomorrow, with the AI discussions happening November 1st in the UK as well, are you hopeful that there will be global guardrails agreed here? Uh, Carolyn, so I'm going to remain cautiously hopeful. I, I really want to see actions. Uh, we have been working with global partners, uh, governments, uh, you know, as a uh, neutral uh, public sector institute, and we see a lot of engagement. From that point of view, I'm really, I am hopeful. And what makes me most hopeful is the young generation uh, now taking so much interest in this technology, not only from tech point of view, but also from uh, policy and society point of view. But I really want to see uh, actual meat on the bone. I want to see action 
and uh, we also want to be part of this uh, uh, this uh, movement in ushering in a multilateral partnership yes. way this technology.